What's up everybody? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the Garmin Approach R10 portable golf launch monitor. So the Garmin R10 is a radar based device. We've actually shown this in the channel a few times already, but we have not had a chance to go out and play the hometown hero. This is Garmin's version of like a golf simulator app. What they're doing is, is they're using their GPS rendered courses, all right, on an iPhone to allow you to take your Garmin approach R10, set it up either just into a net or out at the range or into a full simulator environment like this and you can actually play on your phone now the interesting part here is is that it is a vertical format they don't have this set to where you can set it to a widescreen or use it on an ipad at least at this time so it may be a little difficult if you're trying to do that onto a projector you're going to have a little different format that uh, is going to be more of a vertical format like a phone so in this case what i'm doing is is i'm going to play with the unicore ixo and the view software into my projector and then i'm going to record the screen so you guys can see that and uh, play along kind of look at some distances ball flights you know see if they represent themselves the same but let's just go ahead and open up hometown hero or home t hero i'm sorry um as you can see it's up to four players all right there's 42,000 courses or more than 42,000 courses that you can choose from all right and then i'm just going to hit play now warwick hills golf and country club my home course here in michigan um, i know it well so I figured, why wouldn't I play that and be able to give you guys some feedback on how I think it's playing according to, you know, how it is in real life. So I have my player already selected there. Um, we generally play from the white tees for all the events and everything. So I'd want to keep those distances the same. So let's do that. Let's play from the white tees and we'll do no wind. So not, we know nothing is, uh, you know, getting into an effect of the carry or anything like that. And we will do chip shots because I've been chipping with the Garmin R10 unit and it seems to be chipping quite well. So, and then we'll just go Go to start play it says warwick hills golf and country club first hole par five tricky hole out of bounds to the left uh you know gets a lot of people in trouble um and it kind of dog legs to the right has a lot of trees on the right hand side so if you get the ball off too far to the right it's tough to get that long you know shot up towards the green um, getting home in two is not easy if you have a really good drive you can do it um, let's go ahead and hit this little flag here because it gives you this other view and essentially what you can do is is if i'm going to carry a ball where i normally carry it let's just call it 260 something all right i'm going to land right there it's going to bring me with 250 into the green those distances seem pretty spot on compared to what I'm used to. So I like to just get kind of right in the middle of the fairway there. That's where it has me aimed. Then I'll go back to the view. I'm just going to set my phone down and just be looking over along the way. You guys obviously have that, uh, you know, up on the screen for you. So grab my T. Unit is always lined up and level. I actually, I have a very level surface here. I use uh, actually my alignment rods to make sure it's aligned and straight to my target. Um, you know, making sure that there's no types of interference that could be with radar. You know, you don't want heavy metal or loud fans, things like that can affect a radar unit, including the Garmin R10. All right, so understand that. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet, please do, I appreciate it. And then also check out the other videos on the Garmin R R10 and other things in the channel. I appreciate it. Make sure you comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're playing the Garmin R10, um, what you think of the unit. Um, any comments or questions you might have. All right, first swing of the day. I'm not going to complain because it's relatively, you know, down, uh, down the middle there. Um, only interesting thing I'm seeing here is, is I'm not getting any flight from the Garmin unit. So of course I carry it 264 right down where I want to. And, uh, I would assume what's happened there is, is that it may have gone into a sleep mode because I don't see it blinking. So why don't I go ahead and hit the power button to bring it out of a sleep mode. All right. Make sure it reconnects. This has happened a few times when I'm making videos. Um, the unit will go into a sleep mode, uh, which can make it just a little bit challenging. Let's see. It's blinking green now. Let's see if it picks this up. There it goes. Right up the right side. Didn't quite have the draw on it that it did on the Unicore unit. Um, ball flight, you can see, had a little bit of a draw. 
but I'm up on the right hand side. I'm in the rough. So it says that I have a 10% power loss because of the rough. I can do the same thing as I did before. I'm probably not gonna be able to make it home in two, uh, especially being in the rough and trying to avoid those trees. So let's just aim up there. I'm glad that we got the unit uh, working though, just by showing you guys that it went into sleep. What happens is, is if I set this all up, okay, and I have the unit sitting there the whole time, uh, you know, I might be working on something, getting the video going, and it goes into a sleep mode, but just understand how easy it is. That was, that was kind of a good demonstration. All I did is went over to the unit, tapped the power button, it's connected, and it's good to go. All right, so um, 210 yards. I'm just going to hit a five iron, 10% um, deduction. I think that's going to get me, you know, relatively close to where I need to be to the green. Obviously, I have to avoid those trees. A little bit of a draw. Did it make it over? Oh, did it hit the one tree? I think it hit the one tree and ricocheted off. So now it's going to put me, uh, what's well, a 10% deduction too. But you can see now I'm 90 yards to the green. All right. And I am in the rough again. So it's taking off 10%. Um, so I'm going, that's a little in between for me. Rather than swinging a wide open 58, why don't I hit a 54? All right. Only thing I've noticed with the R10 so far is the side spin um, can be a little bit challenging, at least in this indoor environment. Uh, you know, it, it's not quite catching the curvature of the ball uh, like I normally see. Um, and so I'm just kind of messing with it. Obviously, I think that there could be some firmware updates coming maybe to address it. Um, we'll see that, but just an observation I've had. All right, that was a pretty good ball. Unicor has it carrying 100 yards and it's in the center, 89 yards. Is that a one putt? One stroke. So it's going to let me tap that into the hole for a birdie. We birdie the first hole. Our first time, I'll be honest with you, uh, other than hitting a ball and getting used to this, because I didn't want to like demonstrate something without actually being used it, but I just kind of went out in the course. I played a hole, made sure it was all working and everything, and uh, I haven't really played it. So, uh, you know, that's a riot. I think that's cool that we managed to birdie the first hole. Let's do the same thing again. Let's hit our flag. So generally, the, you know, this hole in real life, uh, what you'd love to do is hit a big fade. It, there, it, it ends up landing down here in this uh, little valley and you can have a short, you know, pitching wedge in. Um, what people get in trouble with is there's OB hard left. Um, you can't see it, but there's a road over there. And if you hit it too far dead straight, it ends up going in those trees and it's a tough punch out. Um, so I'm gonna do what I normally do and I attempt to hit a little bit of a fade. The only interesting part is, is I feel like when I've been doing that on the R10, it has a little bit of a tough time picking up uh, my fade. You don't use a metal dot on the ball, and a lot of people have been asking this, because it's not actually measuring the spin of the ball. It's using the other data parameters to calculate the spin. All right, um, so um, a lot of people ask, well, why wouldn't you put a metal dot on it and see if it does better? Well, if it's not actually measuring the spin of the ball, it's not gonna see the metal dot. I hope that makes sense. And they're not recommending it. Come on, fade. There it is. A little bit to the right. And the unit appears to be picking it up from what I can tell. It went 259 carry and 26, there you go, rolled out to two, 269. I'll tell you what, I think it did a really good job of picking that up. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it do a very good job sometimes and then you'll have a little miss here and there. Um, which I'll be honest guys, at the $599 price range, I just expect to have some misses. You know, I mean, uh, I, I, if, if you can understand your golf game and you know what the ball should be doing, you could pick up on the misses and then, uh, you know, accordingly, you know, ignore if it has a miss in there. But so far, looking pretty good. Now, did it have the same fade as here? Obviously, we're not going to be able to, you know, look into all that. But you saw where I was aimed. You saw where the ball ended up. Um, 259 carry was very similar. Very similar. Can't believe I pulled that fade off. I'm having a tough time controlling my ball flight with my driver lately. So it's 132. 
I have no deduction. It's two yards uphill. It's exactly what I told you guys. You have this pitching wedge in, it kind of goes down that gully. Um, this feels a lot like I'm playing the course so far, you know, for being a GPS rendered course. Uh, I mean, it feels just like it. All right, 132. I have a pitching wedge in my hand. See if I can get a hold of this and get it there. I hit it really well. I hit it really well. It's looking good. Where is this thing gonna land? Oh, outer ring. 139, so 135 carry, 138, 139. Uh, oh, it gave me a two, two putt par, which you know what? Let's be honest. How often am I making a birdie from 25 feet or whatever, however far it was? Not that often. <laughs> so I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, well, we have to play this par three. I mean, uh, 139 yards. So that is about what it plays. Uh, that's one of the like, kind of shorter distances. Um, it's somewhat similar to what the, the hole looks like. The bunkers in the right spot and everything. Um, I mean, I like these renditions. So this is a solid nine iron due to the fact that it's uphill. And I'll tell you what, this thing always plays long, I feel like. Um, the interesting part is, is with this auto putt, you know, there's no putting in the R10. It's not something I should bring up right now. Um, if you're playing E6 Connect, uh, which has putting, this doesn't. Um, this doesn't offer putting. You use auto putt or computer decides. I go over that in the previous video where I play E6. So, you know, watch that video if you want to learn a little more about that. But um, no putting on the R10. Okay, so do understand that. Man, I'm really liking the results so far. Same exact environment I've always had, but less, uh, less curvature, you know, concern that I've, I've seen a little bit of. So I hope this is a great demonstration for you guys. I've had a ton of people asking. They're like, can you please take the Garmin R10 and play the home, t uh, you know, home T hero. And it's, it's an interesting model because it's uh, subscription based, at least the one option. I think it was 999 is what I subscribed for, um, which adds up, let's say it's $120 a year versus if you were to subscribe to E6 and want more courses, you know, you think you pay 300, but you also have a free version of E6. You know, but this has 42,000 plus courses. I feel like I'm playing more with kills right now. I mean, this, is, uh, this isn't bad. It'd be fun to take it out on the course even. Someone was talking about that. That'd be a lot of work, but if I, if I can do it, I'll see if I can. All right, see if I can pull this off. Nine iron. Oh, it was struck pretty well. That could be so good. Be the right distance. Oh, too far. 146, right what I was trying to do, 145. Uh, do I feel like the distances might be like spot on on the home T hero here? I mean, everything, uh, but you know, I should say the distances were pretty solid when I did the comparison video and everything. Um, it was this driver a little bit, um, you know, and it was a little bit of curvature is all I saw. Um, once again, I mean, we're here with the Garmin R10 or the Garmin Approach. R10 and seeing some pretty solid results. I, I really want to hear what everybody has to say. I mean, that's, I think it's key. I think there's a lot of users of the Garmin R10 on the channel, along with other devices. And I think it's really important that you guys comment on the video. You know, let me know what you think. Let others know what you think. I, I appreciate that engagement. I think it's what's, what makes the channel, you know, such a fun community um, for people to share. Hey, this works for me. Or, hey, if you're having this issue, you know, make sure you look at this. Like I mentioned with the fans and the heavy metal. I mean, it's a radar device. Understand that. It needs to be level. It needs to be aligned. You know, those things are all important. Um, but I'll tell you what. I, for $599, you could go out on your course or out on your range and have some fun, play with some buddies um, with your iPhone. You don't need a computer. You don't need a projector. You don't need anything else. So it's something to understand. Um, E6 does have their iOS version um, that's free with this. I demonstrated, so you could do that as well. Um, but at this low cost, the Home, home T Hero, uh, they have little competitions and everything you can play. I, I really think this could be a fun, engaging way for people to play all of these various courses. I mean, their GPS library is just massive, you know? So make sure you let me know what you think. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this has been the Garmin Approach R10 with the Garmin Golf app which is the home T hero is what we played today. Um, you know, make sure you let me know what you think of the comments and stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.